Tony Baxter, our first Disney legend. February 1st, 1947, Tony grew up in Orange County, California. It was the perfect time and place for a future Imagineer, allowing him to witness the birth of the theme park industry. He got his first job at Disneyland when he was 17, scooping ice cream at Disneyland's Carnation Plaza Gardens. Between 1965 and 70, Tony moved from scooping ice cream to operations working in Tomorrowland and on a number of attractions all the while spending lunches and breaks, poking around backstage, learning how things work. When he showed co-workers a college project, his design for a theme park ride, his ingenuity caught the eye of park executive and Disney legend Dick Nunes. And the rest, as they say, is history. Tony became a Walt Disney Imagineer in 1970, soon shipped off to work on the 20,000 Leagues attraction in the soon-to-open Walt Disney World. What followed was a spring of dazzling creations that helped define the modern Disney park landscape. Tony's teams developed Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, helped create concepts for Epcot Center's Living Seas and Land Pavilions, as well as the unreal, I guess you're gonna applaud for that, yes, as well as the unrealized Discovery Bay and Dumbo Circus areas for Disneyland. Then, in 1983, Tony's team transformed Fantasyland into the fanciful and quaint village we know today. That same year, under Tony's leadership, the Journey into Imagination Pavilion opened at Epcot Center, and soon became one of Epcot's most timeless and beloved attractions. Tony followed that string of achievements with even more iconic Disney theme park attractions, including, please hold your applause to the end, <laughs> Star Tours, Indiana Jones Adventure, and Splash Mountain. Now! systems including simulator and enhanced motion technologies used for the first time ever in theme park attractions. These experiences are now some of the most beloved experiences in Disney parks. But perhaps Tony's magnum opus is Euro Disney, now Disneyland Paris, for which he served as executive producer of the entire park. Returning to the United States after the opening of Disneyland Paris in 1992, Tony started the redesign of Disneyland's Tomorrowland and an ambitious slate of projects to enhance the park in anticipation of its 50th anniversary and beyond. He led the team that reimagined the submarine voyage as Finding Nemo. Submarine Voyage oversaw the refurbishment of Charming Sleeping Beauty Castle, a walkthrough attraction, led the team responsible for re-envisioning great moments with Mr. Lincoln, with the most advanced and expressive audio and electronic character ever built. And just this year, he oversaw the wonderful new fantasy fair. Wow. Tom. Here's more. Tony is one of those rare people who got his dream early in life. He was all 23 when he was first sent to Orlando as an Imagineer. And he spent the rest of his career building the world's most fantastic playgrounds, as Tom just described, more commonly known as Disney theme parks. As Tom also mentioned, Tony is responsible for some of our most popular attractions on three continents. But he's also known and loved by some of Disney's most ardent fans as the guy who gave the world Figment and the Dream Park. <laughs> we found out the hard way just how important these two characters are. <laughs> a few years ago, when those characters disappeared during the renovation of the Journey into Imagination Pavilion. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are really serious about your <laughs> Okay, for a while, any time I spoke with anyone about Disney, in shareholder meetings or anywhere else I went, I would always count on someone asking where Figment went, and what had we done with him, what had I done with him. <laughs> Honestly, it was not my fault. <laughs> And when were we going to bring Figment back? So we're happy to have him back in the attraction. It's now called Journey into Imagination with Figment. <laughs> so I don't think Figment is going anywhere anytime soon, I promise. 
Now, I know we're all grateful that Tony took that trip to Orlando at the ripe old age of 23. And for everything he spent his life creating at Disney, he is the embodiment of everything Disney, from his exuberant optimism to his incredible storytelling, strong values, and endless creativity. And we're extremely proud to count him among our Disney legends. So please welcome Disney legend Tony Baxter. You know, at 12, you're clever enough to fully engage the wonder around you, but you're still naive enough to believe that everything you can imagine is possible. It's what gets imprinted in your mind at that year of being 12 that can guide your visions through the rest of your life. When I was 12, Disneyland unveiled a world that was made up of monorails and submarines and bobsleds, concepts that a 12-year-old growing up here in Orange County never dreamed he'd be able to interact with. In 1968, when Steve Jobs was 12, Kubrick's film 2001 opened a door to a future of talking computers where iPad-like devices served up content right along with dinner on the dining table. During my career, the movie Big became kind of a Bible. Uh, written by Ann Stilberg and Gary Ross, it celebrates the creative importance of being 12. Big features a boy masquerading as an adult thrust into the creative heart of a toy company. It's a cautionary tale, hitting corporate acceptance of childhood delight against the social norms and business protocol. I've been fortunate enough to spend my career in an organization that encourages that ability to dive back into childlike wonder with the hope that it's going to bring forth transformative thinking and playful ideas. And I think he is one of them. <laughs> Uh, when Journey into Imagination's Figment asks, what will we do next, Dreamfinder? That is the child inside me living out that simple childlike, uh, excuse me, that's the child inside me looking for yet another challenge. In Star Wars, I, that's a surprise visitor here. Even though he's on the dark side, that's okay. <laughs> In Star Tours, the original pilot, Rex, aims for the Death Star, hollering, I've always wanted to do this! And that's me, living out those simple childlike dreams and hoping that everyone on board shares them too. I really want to thank this organization for cultivating a place where it is okay to think this way. It has made it possible for me to take all of you along on some of the wildest rides in the universe. <laughs> Cheers. 